I am Trianos, king of Bulgaria. My father was a weak ruler, his court infested with snakes. They whisper endlessly of my wife's fidelity and our son's true heritage. I prefer the company of the hunt, where the only whispers are the wind amongst the trees. Yet mysteries lurk here in the forest, too, for my men and I have caught a glimpse of the famed white stag. So often has it eluded us that it now appears to me in my dreams. Is it a real beast, or some sign from the Almighty? It matters not, for I shall pursue my destiny to my last breath. Welcome back to another episode of Crusader Chronicles. Our Bulgarian uh, campaign here once again. And where we last left off, we were playing uh, as our as our current character's uh, grandfather here, King Momchil of Bulgaria. Uh, we had hoped to form uh, a Bulgarian empire, but it didn't quite pan out. We never... Uh, we never got to hit the prestige requirements there before uh, he passed away there, uh, which left our father on the throne as just a teenager. And that went <laughs> really disastrously there. Um, he was a very, you know, weak uh, and trusting young man and really got uh, terribly bullied by all his vassals there. We really... Uh, shrunk the realm quite a bit under his rule so we've done a good job to recapture uh, a lot of that we are sort of uh, a renewing uh, confidence in the crown there we are an ambitious and just man uh, we are a tough soldier and a confident knight there so yeah, Bulgaria is uh, just as large as it has ever been. Uh, we haven't done too much uh, warfare, though. Uh, just mostly advantageous alliances, I would say. Uh, we did lose Epirus to our brother Bosporios there. But uh, despite all that, uh, Tranos here, he is very stressed out. He has had a stressful uh, time as of late, and that is largely related to rumors about his wife, or his uh, former wife there. Uh, as we said in the intro, there were a lot of rumors uh, about her at court, given that uh, she is lustful there, and uh, our son, our only son uh, by her, uh, was born strong or hale. Uh, which is not a trait uh, that either of us have. So it could just be uh, good genes, or there was definitely rumors that maybe he is not our son. And we sort of took to, uh, we took to the wilderness to uh, avoid those rumors. We've taken up hunting instead to uh, hopefully uh, reduce our stress level there. But uh, unfortunately, over time, uh, the truth came out there, a, a horrible truth. Our son, our son Tranos uh, Jr. there, is almost certainly High Chief Callisto's uh, illegitimate child. So our wife is a known adulterer. This is a known crime there. Uh, but the status of our son... Uh, as our trueborn child is is still kind of murky. This is a secret known only to me. He is still uh, publicly considered our son. And uh, this guy that she cheated with, uh, High Chief Callistos there, I think he is the Duke of Palestine there. Uh, so yeah, this story just gets worse because you can see that he is Orthodox there. I believe we uh, participated in, I don't know if it was a crusade, but we participated in basically, um, you know, liberating the Holy Land under Orthodoxy there. Uh, so while we were fighting 
for our faith, our wife uh, was 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 doing something else uh, with another man there. So just very devastating to us, particularly given that we are just. So we had no choice but to uh, divorce her there. We divorced Kaylee. Uh, but she does still live in our court by uh, by our grace there. So we have uh, remarried here to the Duchess of Moldavia uh, in the north of the realm there. Uh, we were able to vassalize that land as a result. And I think this is a pretty good alliance for us. Uh, she's quite fond of us and she is zealous uh, so hopefully more likely to remain uh, faithful there. But uh, certainly the question of succession is weighing heavily on our mind there. We have yet to uh, bear a son uh, by uh, Smiranda here. So our current heir is uh, is our murky, uh, murky heritage son there, uh, Trianos Jr., so this is a lot of pressure for us, uh, certainly um, a big moral blow for us as well. And we've taken up uh, hunting as, and we keep seeing uh, this white stag, this sort of mysterious creature. And of course we are ambitious. So there is a question of like, is, is this a sign? We've talked uh, previously in this series that maybe there's some divine intervention happening with our house. Uh, it's mostly been fairly uh, negative there. We've mostly been uh, harshly judged whenever we uh, commit sins there, according to uh, Catholicism, at least. Uh, but now, perhaps, we are the, uh, are the victim. It is our wife who has sinned against us. So, perhaps, uh, we are being... Uh, thrown a favor here and there is this mystical uh, creature that's representing what our great destiny could be. So we've really thrown ourselves into the hunt for this stag. Um, we've got everyone watching for it at all times uh, but it's not going particularly well. It's uh, another source of frustration. It just keeps barely eluding us each time. And uh, at home, things are not much better there. We have avoided uh, disinheriting young uh, Tranos here because, of course, it is, uh, it is only almost a certainty that he is not our child. And we probably couldn't uh, live with ourselves there if we did end up disinheriting our own son. But uh, as he grows there, we have to uh, confront the fact that he looks less and less like me there. Uh, if we pull up Duke uh, Callisto's here, uh, I personally think that they look very alike. Uh, certainly in complexion and uh, around the eyes, I feel. So we have uh, some very difficult decisions to uh, make here. Uh, we did uh, have a child with our second wife there, Prince Himerios. So we do have uh, a bit of a backup heir if we choose to disinherit Trianos here. But if we take a look at him, he's actually uh, quite a strapping young lad there. He uh, certainly takes after me being just and uh, is, of course, strong, has good, uh, good prowess or... Pretty good prowess there uh, for, for someone who's 12 years old, I think. So he has a lot of potential. And uh, maybe we're questioning that perhaps history does not remember blood. It remembers names. So there's still a chance maybe that Tranos could become a great king. Uh, but uh, the truth finally came out when High Chief Callisto's there died and revealed on his deathbed that Trianos is indeed his son there. So you can see Trianos is now a bastard. 
So he is uh, set to marry here. He's going to marry this lady, uh, Marija. And she is the heir to Lower Bosnia there. So he'll go off and uh, form his own family there. I'm not entirely sure why he's considered to be a bastard of House Asanas. Don't know if that's a bug or not because uh, he's not our bastard. Uh, he he should be a member of his father's house, uh, House Cavalerios there. But uh, you know maybe maybe that uh, reflects our mutual respect for one another there. Uh, we did raise him, and uh, he's turned out to be a pretty good a uh, pretty good guy there. So we uh, we respect each other, but. He will never be king of Bulgaria. So we've still yet to uh, catch the white stag despite our best efforts there. Uh, but priorities are definitely shifting here. Uh, we have the rise of uh, Anatolicon over here uh, in sort of the southeast. And they've formed uh, their own kingdom there. And we also have Bohemia uh, growing larger to the north and sort of this contested territory over here, uh, the kingdoms of Serbia and Croatia. So we've, we've got things that we need to protect here. We've got our true wife uh, that was always uh, faithful to us and our true born son uh, Hemerios has come of age so we need to look to uh, protecting our interests here and protecting our family the time for uh, chasing the stag has perhaps ended so here's what we're going to do we're going to form the kingdom of Moldavia here and uh, let's see, I think we're also going to form Serbia there as we have a nephew that uh, controls most of that territory. There he is, our nephew Theodosius. So we're going to form Serbia as well. So we're going to grant uh, Moldavia to uh, our wife, of course. She will now be a queen in her own right there. And uh, let's go find our nephew there, Theodosius. And we're going to grant him the kingdom of Serbia. And this is now going to give us uh, the required territory to declare ourself. Uh, Basilius there of Bulgaria, emperor of Bulgaria. We have united the lands of Bulgaria with those of Moldavia and Serbia. All my vassals and priests have gathered before my throne. I have earned this moment in their eyes and in the eyes of God. As the patriarch places the crown upon my head, I declare my new empire. All the power of my realm, spiritual and temporal, kneels before me. So, of course, uh, there will be massive uh, celebrations throughout Bulgaria, uh, celebrating Trianos and our glorious empire here, uh, including a, a great hunt that we're holding. But uh, just as our knights uh, crest the hill, we hear the uh, snapping of twigs, the rustling of branches, birds screaming in fright. A massive stag is heading right for us. Oh boy, here's the, the final showdown with the great stag that we've been hunting for so long. Uh, we have a significant chance to slay it. Finally, uh, it has now come to us as we've realized our destiny here. And, oh man, we died! We died! We were gored to death by the stag, the white stag. All those dreams 
uh, were visions of our own demise there. Wow. I thought that was pretty amazing, to be honest, uh, <laughs> that uh, that's how it worked out there. So good thing we went ahead and formed uh, the Empire there. Our, uh, our young son, our teenage son, Himerios, uh, now succeeds us. But uh, we'll have to see how things go for Himerios in the next episode, I think. Do make sure that you are subscribed to the channel to uh, keep following along and be notified of the next episode. And we'll see you next time on Crusader Chronicles.